Hey, what's happening, everybody? Listen, I was walking in the Dollar General yesterday, and inspiration struck me when I came across these super cool Halloween posters for a dollar. And I thought, oh yeah, this is this is it. This is the ticket. I'm gonna whip up a Halloween scaramatic using this poster, you know. Take out the printed eyes, put in some LEDs. I got some cool ideas here. Let's check it out. All right, so like I said, my plan is to cut out his printed eyes and put in a couple of LEDs. And like, this is a really nice heavy cardstock poster. So I have something else I thought about, which is this little sound recording board here. So you can uh, see this. It's got the buttons on it, record, uh, play E and play L. And what you can do is you can record a sound up to a few seconds and press one of these buttons to play it back, or you can connect it to the trigger pins and have something else play it back. So here's what I've come up with. Let's zoom in. So first of all, I'm using a Nano, and I gave a lot of thought to what I was going to use. I thought, you know, I could do something cool with ESP32 or a Wemos or, or even a Mega and take advantage of all the memory it has. But then I thought back to uh, back when I was in the military, and they always used to tell us, KISS, keep it simple, stupid. So this is the simple, stupid way to do this. I'm using a Nano, okay? Then I've got two really cool looking orange, very Halloween-y LEDs. And what do I got here? These are, uh, I think these are 560 ohm resistors for these. And then of course we have the soundboard. And how are we gonna uh, trigger it? We don't want it going all the time. Well, at first I thought, we could use a uh, PIR sensor, but now that's gonna trigger in a huge area. Here's what I want to happen. I want the, you know somebody, the kids or whatever, to see the very dim glowing eyes of this poster and come up and check it out. So what we're gonna use is one of these um, HCSR04 sonar sensors and set it so it only triggers when they're very near. So when somebody is very near to this thing, it's going to set it off. Now, in the meantime, remember, the two eyes, which are not going to be stuck in this, uh, this board, you know, they're going to be taken out and put into the poster. The, the two eyes are just going to be kind of going, but very low, just enough to get your attention. And then when you get up and get close to it, they're going to start flashing, bam, 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 bam. And the soundboard's going to start doing an evil laugh, or my version of an evil laugh. So... <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the code and then we'll come back and check it out in action. All righty, let's take a look at the code for the Halloween Scaromatic. <laughs> it's pretty simple. We have one include, that's the new ping library, which you need to access the sonar sensor. Then we have some defines. We're going to define the trigger pin is on digital 11, the echo pin is on digital 10, and our max distance is 200. Those are all pretty much standard values. Now, L-E-Y-E, -E, left eye, that's our left LED eye is on pin 5, and our right eye is on pin 6. Those are both PWM pins. We're going to need that. And our soundboard is on digital 12. Then we create an instance of new ping called sonar using these arguments which we defined right above. See how simple it is? All right, next up is our setup. Serial begin 9600 for our debug. Then we're going to set our soundboard and our two digital eyes to output. And then we're going to force them all low so they don't inadvertently trigger. We'll skip our function for right now. We'll come down to the loop. And what we're going to do is just have the eyes fluctuate between 
glowing just a little and going off. So they're just kind of ramp up and down in a very dim glow just to get somebody's attention. And while that's going on, we're going to monitor the sonar right here. So we're saying, you know, integer X equals the value of sonar ping CM. And if somebody is close, about less than a foot, we're going to say if X is greater than zero. Because if there's nobody within any registering distance of the sonar sensor, it will read zero. So if it reads greater than zero, and make sure you use the two ampersands, X is less than 100, which means somebody is pretty close up on it, then we're going to call the scare me function, which is what we uh, define right up here. This is our scare me function. And the first thing it does is it shuts the eyes off. And then it triggers the soundboard. And then it just blinks the eyes on and off at full brightness three times. We're printing out the value of the sonar ping down here to our serial port for debugging. And we wait one second between tests so it's not you know, being constantly triggered. And that's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, the code is, there's a link to the code in Pastebin down below. All right, let's go check it out. All right, here it is all set up. Now, if I turn off the overhead lights here for a second. I know that looks bright, but as far as these LEDs are concerned, that's very dim. And then if we trigger it. What do you think? Is that pretty cool? I know that little speaker is not the loudest speaker in the world, but let me uh, let me bring it up here closer to the microphone for you. <laughs> what do you think? You guys like it? <laughs> so the next step, of course is to take out the LEDs, solder the resistors to them, put them in the eyes. Um, now, here's something pretty cool about these LEDs. Let me show you. All right, here's the LED, and it's getting 5 volts at 40 milliamps. You know, your basic Arduino output, but it's getting it from my bench power supply. Ignore these chips here they're just stuck in the board as you can see they're not connected to anything but let me move this over here bring in the meter which is on milliamps now check this out I will disconnect the resistor and connect it back into ground and then connect the other end to the LED. Look at that, we're not even drawing eight milliamps. So that is incredibly low power and that's at full brightness, which it's only gonna do every once in a while. So what that's telling me is this thing running off of a uh, cell phone charger is just going to run for a very long time. When I say cell phone charger, what you know what I mean is a uh, mobile charger boost pack, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It is a, you know, a really simple, really easy project. There's a link to this little soundboard down below. And uh, if you like this, give me a thumbs up, feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe.